So this is part four of creating our bug house. Um, the next thing that we want to do um, is we want to put the roof on top of our bug house. So I want you to start a new 2D sketch and I want you to click on this face here or any of these faces but it's in this position here that we want to click and start. So um, the way I want you to do this is I want you to select the line tool and then I want you to select this uh, button here. This button is called construction. When we click on this button it means any lines or rectangles or anything that we drew draw are construction lines which are like marker lines. They don't do anything apart from give us markers. So I want you to, whilst the line tool is selected and construction highlighted, click here and then move your cursor over to uh, this position and click here. That's given us an area right across the top. Now it's still showing a line so I'm just going to press escape and that will come out of the line tool. I then want you to click on point and I want you now with that line drawn if you hover over this line roughly in the middle it will suddenly latch on. See it go there? It suddenly latches on when it's directly in the middle. That's a really helpful little kind of uh, tool for us. I know that that point is right in the middle and where the top of my um, roof is going to be and I'm going to use that to help me. Now I also want to know where that point is <clears throat> uh, how far along it is here so that I can go exactly up the same amount. So I'm going to click on the dimension tool. I could work it out because um, I know the dimensions already but an easy way click on dimension, click on the cross that you've drawn and then come over and click on the point of the line there once and then come down and click one more time here and that shows uh, a dimension which you can just accept <clears throat> is 56 you can't change that dimension because it's exactly in the middle then come over to your line tool with this button still highlighted construction button still highlighted click on your point here and I want you to go vertically up so you can see my degrees is 180 there and I want you to tap in 56 and enter okay now we have, I'm just going to zoom all while well, that's selected. You can see now that when I draw along here, it's a perfect 45 degree angle coming down as a pitched roof. Okay. While this is still highlighted on my uh, tool, and if it's not, you can just select the line tool again and click on that top part there. I'm just going to take off construction. Okay. And that's now going to draw myself a line. Now I want an overhang on my um, bug house. So I'm going to just come down and I'm going to set the dimension whilst it's whilst I've got it in line at 45 degrees. Uh, when I'm around about here, I'm going to set it to 110, so 110 um, along like that. Okay, and that's done. Um, you can now just come up to the side and with the degree, make sure the degree says 90 perfectly there, and it's a right angle coming out, and set the dimension to six and click enter. Okay. Um, you can escape out the line tool, come and click on the line again and up the top here you can do the same thing, you can come along make sure the angle, this time it might say something like 135 it will be 135 or 90 or 180 but make sure it's a right angle to the line and 6, tap in 6 if it doesn't say so already and I'm just going to click OK um, I'm not sure that actually did it so I'm just going to click one more time do that and actually click on 6 there Okay, now um, I've still got the line associated here. If not, just draw it from those two points. I want you to draw a line between these two points here, like that, and make sure you're on both the ends of those lines, like that. Then you can um, finish your sketch and you can extrude that. Um, it's selected the area that you're going to want to do. Um, it might sort of automatically go to 105. Um, mine hasn't there, so I'm just going to click 105. And again, it's imperative that you click on new solid at this point so that it is a different material and that you change the direction so it's going in the right way then click OK now the second thing we want to do is do the next pitched roof slightly differently we're going to create a 2D sketch and put it onto this point here uh, zoom all so we can see everything now um, it's easy to start our point but where do we stop it along here because it's longer then this dimension which was 110 is longer than that so uh, because of the butt joint here and how that works <clears throat> so I want to create a line and I want to create a construction line as a marker line remember and I'm just going to go from this bottom point and I'm just going to do a vertical line that kind of comes all the way along here 
um, and I need to make sure it says 90 degrees um, and then it doesn't matter on the, dark, the length but as long as it goes quite a long way along then press escape now when you click on your line tool and take off that construction button come up to the top okay make sure it locks onto that top area and then come down make sure it says 45 degrees and locks onto that area there okay then you can um, you can come out and you can draw your kind of lines that come up vertically so that's 135 that degree says come out by six and click okay you can come down remembering to get the same dimension now did anybody see the dimension that we had before it was 116 okay so I know that lining that up there is accurate and then one more time you can just join on that point there so that's how I have drawn the other part of my pitched roof I'm then going to finish my sketch extrude it it's already selected the area change the direction and make sure you click on new solid there click OK that is how to do the roof now if you're doing this really really well you want to add a little support structure create a 2D sketch put it onto here you want to come out and just put a little button in this top area so I'm going to put a point project a geometry a point right onto that area there so it selects onto it start a, two, uh, a rectangle um, you actually might want to select the three point rectangle there and come down click down and you want to then come down so it's a, it's a different one this is a rectangle that allows us to do it at angles I want to come down by 10 press enter and then come out by 10 and press enter that's a very easy way of doing a rectangle at an angle finish your sketch extrude it it selected the area change direction use solid enter and there we have our bug house go on to the next video um, to see how to change the materials of your bug house um, and render it make sure you save your work